about the sound of my own voice that fascinates me. You know, I'm glad you didn't get sore at me the way I took you over the hurdles, Mildred. In the casting of 1945's Mildred Pierce, each role was carefully crafted with a perfect actor in mind. The film's lead, Joan Crawford, was an interesting choice. Crawford, known for her glamorous roles, took on a more down-to-earth character in Mildred Pierce. The actress was drawn to the complex role, and her dedication led to an iconic performance. The role of Mildred's daughter, Veda, was given to Anne Blythe. Blythe, a young and relatively unknown actress at the time, impressed the casting directors with her audition. Her ability to portray Veda's manipulative and scheming nature won her the part. Jack Carson, playing the role of Wally Fay, was already a well-established character actor. Carson's comedic timing and charisma made him a natural fit for the role. His chemistry with Crawford added depth to their scenes together. Eve Arden, cast as Ida Corwin, was a seasoned actress with a background in comedy. Arden's witty dialogue and sardonic humor provided much-needed relief in the dramatic film. Her character's friendship with Mildred created a strong foundation for the story. The casting process for Mildred Pierce was a testament to the power of the right actor in the right role. Each performer brought their unique talents and strengths to the film, creating a captivating and enduring classic. I wanted to come home weeks. The director of Mildred Pierce, Michael Curtisi, brought the story to life with his unique vision and style. Known for his versatile approach, Curtis's drew inspiration from various creative influences. In this classic, Curtis has employed a film noir style, characterized by low-key lighting and dramatic shadows. This technique added a sense of mystery and intrigue to the film, enhancing the audience's engagement. Collaboration was key to Curtis's directorial vision. He worked closely with the cast and crew, fostering a creative environment that allowed for the exploration of ideas and the refinement of performances. Curtis's collaboration with the cast was particularly noteworthy. He guided Joan Crawford, who played the lead role of Mildred, to deliver a powerful and emotional performance. Crawford's portrayal of Mildred, a struggling single mother, remains one of her most memorable roles. The movie's visual style was also a result of Curtis's collaboration with the cinematographer, Ernest Holler. Together, they crafted a visually stunning film that has stood the test of time. Curtis's approach to directing was not limited to his creative vision. He was also known for his meticulous attention to detail and his ability to manage large crews effectively. This allowed him to bring his vision to life on screen, resulting in a film that continues to captivate audiences today. Marty, not so loud. No? Hello. Mildred Pierce is a classic 1945 movie that tells the story of a divorced woman who opens a restaurant to support her family. But did you know that the original novel by James M. Cain was considered too risque for film at the time? Or that the lead actress, Joan Crawford, won an Oscar for her role? This movie is full of surprises, from funny moments to shocking twists and heart-wrenching sadness. In fact, there are so many fascinating facts and anecdotes about Mildred Pierce that we could talk all day. Do you have a favorite memory or personal experience related to this movie? Maybe you were inspired by Mildred's determination and entrepreneurial spirit, or perhaps you were captivated by the film's stunning cinematography and unforgettable performances. No matter what your connection to Mildred Pierce may be, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So grab some popcorn, settle in, and let's talk about this classic film. Right over there, please. Farragut just came in. Sit down here. In the 1940s, the movie industry was undergoing significant changes. The film Mildred Pierce, released in 1945, is a testament to this era's technological advancements and innovative filmmaking techniques. The set design and locations for this classic were carefully chosen to create a vivid and engaging atmosphere. The movie was primarily shot in Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank, California. The set designers built elaborate sets to recreate the glamorous world of early 20th century Southern California. The attention to detail was extraordinary, with each set designed to reflect the characters' social status and personalities. One of the most iconic sets was Mildred's house, which underwent several transformations throughout the film. The set designers used forced perspective to make the house appear larger on screen. This technique involved building the set at an angle, with the back walls closer together than the front. As a result, the house seemed to extend further back than it actually did. The film's exterior locations were equally impressive. 
The crew shot several scenes at the famous Hollywood Park racetrack, which was a popular destination for the Los Angeles elite. The racetrack's grandstand, lush gardens, and bustling crowds provided a perfect backdrop for the movie's dramatic scenes. However, filming at the racetrack presented several logistical challenges. The crew had to work around the racetrack's busy schedule, shooting only during off hours. Additionally, they had to obtain permission from the racetrack's management and ensure that their equipment did not interfere with the races. Another notable location was the beach house where Mildred and her lover, Monty, spent a romantic weekend. The crew filmed these scenes at the Malibu Beach Inn, which offered stunning ocean views and a secluded atmosphere. The movie also employed innovative techniques in lighting and cinematography. The director, Michael Curtises, used high-contrast lighting to create a moody and dramatic atmosphere. He also employed deep-focus photography, which allowed him to keep both foreground and background elements in sharp focus. In addition to these technical innovations, Mildred Pierce also featured groundbreaking performances from its lead actress, Joan Crawford. Her portrayal of the titular character was both nuanced and powerful, earning her an Academy Award for Best Actress. Overall, the production of Mildred Pierce was a significant achievement in the history of Hollywood filmmaking. The set design, locations, and innovative techniques used in the film all contributed to its enduring legacy as a classic of American cinema. The zipper. Thank you, but I won't need any help. How do you like a drink? In 1945, the movie Mildred Pierce made its debut, introducing audiences to a complex character and a compelling story. The film, directed by Michael Curtis, revolves around the life of Mildred Pierce, played by Joan Crawford, who strives to provide for her family after a divorce. Mildred's journey is marked by her determination to succeed in the face of adversity. She starts as a humble restaurant owner and eventually builds a successful chain of restaurants. However, her personal life is fraught with challenges, including a tumultuous relationship with her eldest daughter, Veda. The film is set against the backdrop of 1930s America, a time of economic hardship and social change. Mildred's story is emblematic of the struggles faced by many during this period, as she works tirelessly to provide for her family and maintain her dignity. Joan Crawford's portrayal of Mildred Pierce is a career-defining performance. She embodies the character's strength, resilience, and vulnerability, earning herself an Academy Award for Best Actress. Crawford's ability to convey Mildred's emotions with subtlety and nuance is a testament to her skill as an actress. Mildred Pierce is not only a showcase for Crawford's talent, but also a well-crafted film. The script, penned by Ranald McDougall, is sharp and insightful, offering a nuanced portrayal of Mildred's character. The cinematography, by Ernest Holler, is stunning, capturing the beauty and harshness of 1930s America. The film's score, composed by Max Steiner, adds to the emotional depth of the story. The haunting melodies and soaring crescendos perfectly capture the ups and downs of Mildred's journey. In conclusion, Mildred Pierce is a classic film that has stood the test of time. Its exploration of themes such as motherhood, ambition, and social class remains relevant today. The movie's powerful performances, engaging storyline, and stunning visuals make it a must-watch for fans of classic cinema. I was afraid. Afraid of your own mother. Oh, mother, I've been so miserable. In the 1945 film Mildred Pierce, music plays a crucial role in enhancing the narrative and emotional tone. The score was composed by Max Steiner, who also created iconic scores for movies like Gone with the Wind and King Kong. With over 30 years of experience, he masterfully wove together various themes representing different characters and storylines. Steiner drew inspiration from the film's setting, post-depression America, resulting in a rich tapestry of sounds reflective of the era. He incorporated jazz elements popular during that time period which can be heard when Joan Crawford's character, Mildred, interacts with more affluent social circles. This choice musically underlined her aspirations and gradual transformation throughout the movie. The haunting lullaby sung by Mildred's daughter Veda serves as another significant musical moment in the film. Performed by actress Anne Blythe herself, it foreshadows future conflicts between mother and child while emphasizing their complex relationship. According to Blythe, singing this song felt deeply personal because she used to sing similar tunes as a young girl. Moreover, the opening credits theme sets up the audience for what promises to be a dramatic roller coaster ride filled with tension and suspense. As stated by director Michael Curtis, they aim to create an air of mystery right from the start, drawing viewers into the unfolding drama. 
Interestingly, despite being nominated for several Academy Awards including Best Picture and Actress, the film didn't receive recognition for its memorable score. Nevertheless, Steiner's work remains integral to the overall impact of this classic movie, illustrating how powerful music can elevate a film's narrative and resonate emotionally with audiences even today. Not coming home anymore? Doesn't he like us? Oh, it has nothing to do with you, honey. In the film Mildred Pierce, there's a notable scene where Mildred, played by Joan Crawford, wears a lobster-shaped brooch to Wally's waterfront dive. This accessory is not just a fashion statement, but a symbol of Mildred's character and her efforts to provide for her family. Before securing the role, Crawford had to prove herself through a screen test, despite being under contract with Warner Brothers for two years. This comeback was crucial for Crawford, who had faced a series of flops at her previous studio, MGM, and had turned down several scripts at Warner Brothers. Interestingly, the director, Michael Curtis, initially wanted Barbara Stanwyck to play Mildred. However, Crawford's screen test with her co-star Anne Blythe won him over. This casting decision added depth to the character of Mildred and contributed to the film's success. In essence, the lobster brooch, Crawford's persistence, and the effective casting all played significant roles in the making of this classic. Anything you say, just as long as we're friends. One of the most iconic scenes in Mildred Pierce occurs when Mildred, played by Joan Crawford, confronts her daughter Veda, portrayed by Anne Blythe, about her deceitful ways. This scene is a powerful display of both actresses' acting abilities, made even more impressive by the dim lighting and close-up shots used by director Michael Curtis. The tension between Mildred and Veda is palpable throughout the entire exchange, amplified by the ominous music playing in the background. Cinematographer Ernest Holler uses low-key lighting to create shadows and contrast, highlighting the emotional turmoil each character experiences. As they argue, the camera focuses on their faces, capturing every subtle expression and hint of emotion. Crawford delivers a particularly memorable performance during this scene. She expertly conveys Mildred's frustration, sadness, and determination to protect her family despite Veda's manipulations. Meanwhile, Blythe masterfully embodies Veda's selfishness, cunning, and lack of remorse. Their performances are so convincing that it becomes easy for the viewer to become emotionally invested in the outcome of their conflict. According to Crawford, preparing for this intense scene required deep concentration and focus. I had to dig into myself and pull out all those raw emotions, she said in an interview. It wasn't easy, but I knew it was essential for the success of the film. Similarly, Blythe recalls feeling immense pressure to deliver a standout performance opposite Crawford. Joan was such a powerhouse on set, Blythe stated, but rather than intimidate me, it pushed me to rise to the occasion and give it my all. This iconic scene has resonated with audiences for decades due to its complex depiction of mother-daughter relationships and the consequences of unchecked ambition. Its lasting impact can still be felt today, serving as inspiration for modern storytellers seeking to explore similar themes. Drink? No, thank you. You drink too much. I know, I do too much of everything. I'm spoiled. Too many sisters. In the mid-1940s, during a period when Hollywood studios were seeking ways to cut costs, Jack L. Warner challenged his team to find methods to reduce spending without sacrificing quality. Surprisingly, the film Mildred Pierce did not suffer from any reduction in set detail, despite the cost-cutting measures. Underneath its distinctive noir lighting hid intricate sets, such as the beach house belonging to Montebarragon, which played a crucial role in the storyline, and opened the film. Its labyrinthine design reflected the director's intention to incorporate menace into the environment. The lead actress, Joan Crawford, had initially been met with skepticism due to false rumors regarding her behavior at MGM. Initially hesitant, director Michael Curtis eventually allowed Crawford to perform a screen test upon her insistence, an unusual request for a seasoned actor. Having observed her performance, he became convinced of her suitability for the character. Following the release of Mildred Pierce, young actress Anne Blythe sustained severe injuries when she fractured her back during a tobogganing trip in Snow Valley. Her recovery lasted half a year. Ross. I think I'm really seeing you for the first time in my life, and you're cheap and horrible. You think just because you made a little money you can get a new hair? Released in 1945, the movie Mildred Pierce gained significant cultural and social impact. Audiences were captivated by the story of a divorced woman who strives to provide for her daughters, even as her life becomes entangled in crime and drama. 
The film's exploration of themes such as class, gender, and family dynamics resonated with viewers, making it a box office success. Mildred Pierce's influence on pop culture was also notable. The film's portrayal of a strong, independent woman who navigates a male-dominated world inspired future generations of female characters in film and television. Additionally, the movie's noir style and dramatic plot twists have been emulated in numerous subsequent works. The film also contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. The character of Mildred Pierce challenged traditional gender roles and expectations as she refused to be defined by her relationships with men and instead focused on building a career and supporting her family. This portrayal of female empowerment was groundbreaking for its time and continues to be relevant today. Furthermore, the movie explored issues of class and social mobility as Mildred's pursuit of success and wealth led her to make difficult choices and confront moral dilemmas. The film's nuanced portrayal of these themes sparked conversations about the American dream and the costs of upward mobility. In summary, Mildred Pierce resonated with audiences, influenced pop culture, and contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. Its portrayal of a strong, independent woman and its exploration of class, gender, and family dynamics continue to be relevant and impactful today. Right with you. You want the transfer immediately? Yeah, we'll give you a note to cover the purchase. You give us the deed. It's very simple. In the filmmaking process, producer Jerry Wald saw the potential in James M. Cain's novel Mildred Pierce. He envisioned a climactic murder and restructured the story using flashbacks, giving it a higher moral tone than the original novel. With these changes, he received approval from the Breen office, leading studio head Jack L. Warner to approve the purchase rights to the novel in early 1944. The brooch that Mildred, played by Joan Crawford, wears in the scene where she proposes marriage to Monty is not a random piece of jewelry. It is the same brooch worn in Casablanca, and now, Voyager. This brooch was owned by Warner Brothers and made by movie jeweler Joseph of Hollywood. In the first and last scenes, Mildred wears gloves with big mink cuffs, and her mink jacket also has big cuffs, which must have made the sleeves uncomfortable for Crawford. Anne Blythe, who played Veda Pierce, was often dubbed by various artists in Italy, including Fiorella Betty, Rosetta Calavetta, Lydia Simoneschi, Renata Marini, Michaela Giustiniani, and Rina Morelli. This classic film is a testament to the collaborative efforts of many talented individuals, both in front of and behind the camera. Because I was wrong. Following its release in 1945, Mildred Pierce garnered positive critical reception. Critics praised the film for its engaging storyline, strong performances, and compelling characters. Audiences also responded positively to the movie, enjoying its mix of drama and noir elements. Mildred Pierce received several accolades, including Academy Award nominations for Best Picture, Best Actress for Joan Crawford, and Best Supporting Actress for Anne Blythe. Joan Crawford won the Oscar for Best Actress, solidifying her status as a leading actress of the time. These awards recognize the talent and hard work of those involved in the film, highlighting their contributions to the success of Mildred Pierce. You married him, I didn't. Goodbye, Mr. Bennett. In the making of Mildred Pierce, actress Anne Blythe formed a close friendship with co-star Joan Crawford. Blythe later recalled Crawford as the kindest, most helpful human being I've ever worked with. Despite initial reservations, director Michael Curtis is also grew fond of Crawford due to her dedication and hard work. The film's marketing campaign featured the catchphrase, Don't tell anyone what Mildred Pierce did, which was humorously parodied by a Los Angeles diner. The establishment displayed a sign offering a meal deal along with gossip about the movie's protagonist for 65 cents, will not only serve you a blue plate, will tell you what Mildred Pierce did. Clearly, both behind the scenes and in popular culture, Mildred Pierce left a lasting impression. Bring me three glasses, will you? Hey, it's beginning to look serious. In the early stages of this classic, Mildred Pierce underwent significant changes. Initially, Joan Crawford was not the first choice for the lead role. Betta Davis was, but she turned it down. When Crawford stepped in, she brought her own touches to the character, even going against the director's wishes at times. The film's shooting schedule was quite demanding. With numerous set pieces and complex scenes, the crew worked tirelessly around the clock. Anne Blythe, who played Veda, often had to perform emotionally intense scenes late into the night, revealing her dedication despite the challenging conditions. 
Behind the scenes, Crawford developed a close bond with co-star Eve Arden, who portrayed Ida. Their friendship extended beyond the camera, providing support for each other throughout the grueling production process. One notable scene required Crawford to emerge from the ocean after swimming ashore. To achieve the desired effect, they filmed on a chilly California beach before sunrise, leaving the actress shivering between takes while maintaining her composure for the cameras. Despite these hardships, the cast remained committed to their craft, resulting in a captivating performance that resonated deeply with audiences upon its release. This determination ultimately led to Crawford winning the Academy Award for Best Actress, solidifying her status as a Hollywood icon. The trials faced during the creation of this timeless piece serve as a testament to the passion and resilience found both on screen and off. I'm not very impressionable, Mildred. I lost my awe of women at an early age. But ever since that first day... In the movie Mildred Pierce, many leading actresses were hesitant to take on the role due to its depiction of a mother with a teenage daughter. However, Joan Crawford saw the potential and campaigned aggressively to secure the part, recognizing it as a career-defining opportunity. One notable aspect of the film is Crawford's appearance in luxurious, stylish fur coats during certain scenes. These images have contributed to a famous Hollywood saying from the 1940s, nobody suffers in mink quite like Joan Crawford. Additionally, in September 1944, Anne Rutherford expressed interest in playing the character Veda Pierce in the same production. No, no, nothing like that. It's kind of serious, though. It's about Bert. What's on your mind? Well, you're not going to like this. Mildred Pierce, the 1945 film, has left a significant mark on cinema history. This movie, directed by Michael Curtisis, is often remembered for its strong lead performance by Joan Crawford. It tells the story of a divorced woman who opens a restaurant to support her family, only to face challenges from her ungrateful daughter. The film is a notable example of film noir a genre that was popular during the 1940s and 50s. Its complex narrative structure, with its flashbacks and dramatic revelations, has influenced many films that followed. The movie's exploration of female independence and ambition was also quite groundbreaking for its time. Mildred Pierce has inspired several subsequent works. For instance, it served as the basis for a 2011 HBO miniseries of the same name, starring Kate Winslet. This adaptation, while faithful to the original story, delve deeper into the psychological aspects of the characters. The movie's legacy also extends to its iconic costumes and set designs, which have been referenced and replicated in various media. The performance of Joan Crawford, which earned her an Academy Award, has also influenced many actresses who came after her. In essence, Mildred Pierce is more than just a film noir. It's a testament to the enduring power of storytelling, a captivating exploration of human relationships, and a landmark in cinema history. That Ted Forrester is nice looking, isn't he? Vida likes him. Joan Crawford's portrayal of Mildred Pierce Barragon in the movie has been recognized as one of the greatest performances of all time, ranking at number 93 on Premier Magazine's list in 2006. The film is often aired on television around Mother's Day, along with the 1981 movie Mommy Dearest, which presents a stark contrast to Mildred Pierce as a memoir of Joan Crawford's adopted daughter, Christina Crawford. Catherine Turney, the writer credited for the film, chose to have her name removed from some release prints. The movie, based on James M. Cain's novel, tells the story of a self-sacrificing mother's love, and Turney's contribution to the script is a notable aspect of its production. Despite her removal from the credits, Turney's work remains an essential part of the film's legacy. The pair of pants I thought you might want to see. Did Mildred Pierce leave a lasting impression on you? This classic film has touched many lives since its release in 1945. We'd love to hear your stories. How did this movie influence your view of cinema or personal experiences? Maybe it sparked an interest in film noir, or perhaps you found a connection with Mildred's journey as a mother and businesswoman. Share your memories with us and others who hold this timeless piece close to their hearts. Your insights could inspire new conversations and appreciation for this cinematic gem. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more opportunities to engage in discussions around beloved films like Mildred Pierce. Together, let's celebrate the power of storytelling through movies. Blank blanks. Hey, you never used to drink it straight like that.